everyone welcome it's Angela so good to have you visit here at my channel if this is your very first time then a very warm welcome to you today and of course to everybody who watches me and supports me hello and it's so good to have you guys visit again right we're going to carry on um, doing a little bit of ephemera making and put those items into the journal that I'm busy making and as you guys know already I'm working on my baking bliss journal so this is the second signature so I'm going to be showing you how to make a little flip up tuck spot thingy. I'm not sure what I'm calling it at this point, but we're going to make something using a mailer and repurpose those because, you know, I just love to do it and I keep finding other ways I want to use it. So I thought I'd share that with you today. So I'm going to just turn to the page that I am currently working on, which is all over the place at the moment. Um, I am towards the back of my signature and the last time we were working on the back of this one here. Um, so I'm going back and we are now going to work on this page here. I have stenciled this so far using my antique linen distress ink and my distress oxide speckled egg. Just touch a little bit over there, sort of blended the two in. All right, so I'm going to make something to put on that side. So I'm going to just close that up. Put that to the side and we're going to get started so the very first thing that i grabbed was a mailer envelope this one's got quite a wide window um but of course you can cut out a piece of paper folded in half and make this up you don't have to use um, a mailer but i'm using this mailer today right so just some measurements so that you have an idea i think it is this is nine by six and a quarter inches so that's what it is that equates to 23 centimeters by 16. I'm going to trim some off on the side here so that's more or less what we have guys go and find what you have and adapt that accordingly all right so just go and have a look for one of your mailers the, the wider ones would be great right now what I want to do is um, it is open here because it has come through the post so it is open on this side over here um, and I want to open it on this side here so I can open this up completely. So what I've decided I am going to measure five inches across and um, that is going to equate to uh, 12.75 centimeters or just before yeah 12.75 centimeters and I want to just cut that off at that mark so that's the five inch mark and I'm just taking my craft knife or well, really this is my Stanley knife and I'm cutting this bit off and I can promise you I'm going to make something with this don't throw these away all right so that's what we've got there and then I'm going to just turn it around we've got openings now on both sides and I want to just open it at the very top so the other side of the window so I want to really take off a very, very small amount here, um, really thin, just to open that bit up. Okay, so now um, we've got a whole bit looking like this. All right. Okay, so I've got another one here where I've put some measurements on, so I'm going to just grab that. Okay, same, same envelope. Right, now... You've got a long piece like this now, and I'm going to fold it into three. So um, starting from the left-hand side, 15.5 centimeters or 6.1 inches, I made a fold, fold line, and I'm just going to take my burn folder, and I'm going to make sure that that's nice and folded, all right? And then we're going to go from the right-hand side, and uh, 6.2 inches or 16 centimeters from that side i made another fold line okay so what i am doing basically is folding my envelope into three all right um this top flap is just slightly narrower than the rest and the they don't fit exactly to the top here you've got a, a little little area where it'll fit snugly so it'll all fit very smoothly but if you look at it like this way you can see that it's really in three okay so whatever the length of your envelope once opened out in a long row fold it into three okay so that's what we've got now 
Right, so we are going to work on that and we're going to decorate this up. So I've got a few bits and pieces ready. Um, the first thing is I've taken my mini page that looks like this and I'm going to use this complete mini page and show you what I've done with it. First of all, I fussy cut that bit out there. All right, so that's what I've done. That's this bit here. Um, then I am going to make a tag of that side there. So you can see, oops, um, I've cut this bit off there. All right, which lead, and I've put that onto recycle packaging and card, and, and I've got a tab at the top there. So that's what I've done with that piece. That leaves us with this little bit in the middle over here. All right, so just so that you know. Okay, so moving that aside, that leave, left me with this bit here like that, and I'm going to stick this into that window on the other side. Right, so let's do that first of all. Um, and then I've also laid a piece of paper out. This is from my backing pages. Laid it over like that and I've cut out the window that's available there as well. So I'm going to start by putting this piece on the top and then I haven't quite, if you have a look, I haven't quite cut it all the way down. I've made the window slightly narrow and slightly inside so that'll help me with my little piece or a cake piece on the on the other side of the window just to position it properly so we've used the whole of that piece but just in with different elements from it so i just wanted to show you that so it makes it easier um yeah so any paper that you're wanting to use go right ahead and do that um you know this will work with any any theme at all so I'm sure that you can use whatever paper you have. All right, plain paper, tea paper, fussy cut flowers, that would also work. You don't have to have a digital or printed pack. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to just stick this down on here and I'm going to try and get it as close as possible to where it needs to be. Right, so I think that's about it. Gosh, that was lucky. Sometimes I battle with that, <laughs> but that looks pretty all right. All right, so we've got that bit down there. That's a great start. So that one's covered. You can use your bone folder and just make sure that you get it nice and flat. Okay. All right, um, and then you can go and distress around that if there are any bits that you feel are sticking out that you... You know, with me, I don't like white bits sticking out. So, right, so we've done that. Now we want to stick this piece in the window behind. All right, and <laughs> there is a little piece there. Um, and that doesn't matter because I'm going to be putting this bit over. So don't worry about that too much. All right, so I'm going to stick this down like that. And I think the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to put glue um, right on the edges of this as close to the edge as I possibly can like that just so that I um, am going to get it stuck in place and none of the glue is going to uh, show through the window all that clears dries clear <laughs> um, I don't particularly want it to happen right so we've got that bit there like that I want to get that like that. Right, now um, we want to make sure that we get this. Got a bit of a mark on there. Um, as close to the edge as possible. So I want it as far down as I possibly can get it. And I think that's about it. So I'm going to let that get of attach itself there now we're going to put a backing piece on there so not to worry about that and we do have that bit sticking out and that's all right okay so we've got that bit there and as you can see it looks like this now um on the back of that i've cut out a piece of my lace lacy paper i call it um i wanted the one with the distress on so i've done a, a cut a piece of that that comes from that lacy 
sheet of paper you see me use all the time and I want to stick that right over the back there and the reason for that is I want to have a nice place to write memories or stick photos or um, you know write another recipe if you so choose so lots of spots to uh, write uh, those special family recipes or memories or photographs or anything like that so yeah all right so we want to get that nice and straight there so just hoping i do get that nice and straight and there we go we've got that bit sealed in and again just run your bone folder over that just to make sure that it's nice and attached okay right so we've got that bit all done and we'll get to the decorating in the middle in a, a little bit okay so now what i want to do is i want to make this a pocket um you can sew it if you want i am going to glue it um so i'm going to just move that up now i want it to be open on the right and um, you can make it um, allow to be open on the left i'm going to put a little bit of glue as close to the edge um, on the left of this pocket and just at the top here like that okay and then we're going to make sure that that meets up nicely there we go all right so we've got our little pocket already there like that and then we're going to put a piece over here and the piece that I've chosen is the polka dot blue page. I'm going to stick this down over here like that. Um, so that's going to give me a bit of a background. So again, you can actually do some decorative sewing on here, um, but I'm not doing that today. I'm doing uh, not very much sewing at all. So. <laughs> Um, and I've been looking at my mini pages, but because mini pages are just a little bit too small for this, I decided that um, I put a bit of a backing page onto this. Okay, there we go. I'm going to just trim a little bit on this one side here quickly. So that's all right, just trimming that off. Just a few bits that are sticking out a little bit too far, so just very slowly take that off. And then um, just use my distress ink to cover up anything there. All right, so there we go. And then um, I've got this page, which also is one of my mini pages. Um, and I've cut it in half and I'm going to stick that on the top over there. I'm going to move it a little bit left to off center like that. Um, and this could have been, could have looked really great with a bit of stitching onto the blue dotted paper, but I thought I wouldn't do it. <laughs> but of course it would look lovely if you did. Okay, I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm fortunate in that there's just a little ray of sunshine that has um, shown itself um, in the fields here, just as I've decided to record, because it's still pretty gloomy here. Not that that worries me, but I'm always concerned about my lighting. <laughs> so, hope it's not too dark right so we've got that beautiful chocolate cake there and i've got one of my labels the chocolate sentiment labels so chocolate cake i thought perfect i'm going to use that one right there so we've got a little pocket now and we're going to put a little tag in the side of that shortly all right so chocolate cake gosh i do love chocolate cake i'm gonna get that just there like that there we go and that's the decorating for that side there all right so we've got that all done I'm, I'm not sure if i'm going to put anything on here i'm just looking in my little box of tricks here if there's anything that i want to put on 
Mm, let's see. I don't want nothing. So I might just put this little bit over there. And a great place, as I said, to stick a photo or anything. I don't know if you guys have seen the latest, um, well, the upgrade to the original Polaroid cameras that have come out with those mini Polaroid photographs. And I'm quite keen to get one. My um, son's girlfriend's got one and gosh, they're adorable, the size. I really like them. Great to add those sorts of photos into this kind of a thing. So, you know, you can't go wrong with that. Do I want to put in something here? No, not that one. Uh, let's get a little butterfly. Been cutting out loads of these lately. I want a really small one. <laughs> yeah, I think that would work. Right, we've got um, my pastel pink butterflies and I cut out two sheets and I, I'm using them a lot, which I love butterflies. So, you know, they're positive. They've, um, I think what I love about them, beside them being beautiful, is that they what they start out as and how they evolve. And I think to me that is amazing. I just love that. Right, so we've just got a little bit of a decoration there. Great space, as I said. Um, and then on the front, oh, let's just dirty that up a bit. <laughs> Right, so we've got that there. Now let's go and do some little bit of decoration here. So I've got a little bit of lace and it, were, it won't need to be um, all over because I am going to put on this long, nothing says um, home like the smell of freshly baked goods. Oh my gosh, yes. So I'm going to cut this lace because it doesn't need to go all the way underneath here. Um, but I'm just seeing how far I need to cut it. So... I'm going to cut it off there, just there, and that's enough, rather than wasting the whole piece. Does that sound tight of me? <laughs> I'm just putting a little snippet of lace here, really a little snippet. Um, so we're going to just get that stuck down, and I'm holding it like really gingerly here. Yeah. I do love all the cakes and things in here and I still haven't had those brownies made I'm gonna to have to speak to the daughter and get her moving on those gosh she does make good brownies so I'll chase her up on that today right um I don't seem to eat that much that many baked goods in the warmer months um but it's winter where we are tempted to have all these things isn't it Right, um, let's get, I've got a little bit of a mauve wildflower die cut, and this is from my lacy paper. So I've got a, a, a lavender sprig and one of these. I'm not sure what this is, um, <laughs> but I like it. Right, so we're going to just put this down quickly. And this is where this art glitter glue is amazing can't go wrong right so we've got all those little bits in there and just get that piece I think yeah let's let's get it a bit further down I think right so we'll we'll get that there and then I'm going to put the lavender sprig on as well just love this paper. This is my favourite and I go to and I, I use it in every, just about every kit I've ever made, really. I just love it. It's my fave. Right. Um, how do I want that? Do I want that a bit over like this? Yeah. I'll just have it like that. So just on the edge there. And now I can stick this bit down. So... This is just the sentiment and it's amazing how the black and the ivory colors just pop it makes everything pop so I quite like that right we're going to stick this down the right way up of course um, 
and I just need to get that a bit over. Yeah, there we go. Right, so we've got that and saved all that lace. Look at that. Right, um, and then we just need to put on our little fussy cut, which is going to go pretty much over there and finish that whole thing off. So. Okay, everyone, so I've got that all glued up and I um, want to just get that over a bit. So let's just get it a little higher and then we can just maneuver it. And that's perfect. You see, we won't see that bit underneath there. Who's to know? Nobody. Okay, so I think I've got that all down um, and that's our little top. So I think that's everything. We've got this like that. We've got a little writing spot over there. We've got a pocket over here. And I'm going to put this journal card, which is a great place for a recipe and a method. I'm going to slide that into this section over here. If I can open it. So let's just get that in there. All right, I just put a little bit of ribbon on there and the like that we're going to close that up and we're going to put this in our book page and then we'll we'll attach the tag so grab the signature this is where it's going to go and look how pretty that looks already so let's just move that over right now we're going to put a tag in the top here so you want to be mindful of where that's going to be so i think that needs to be where it is and like normal i just draw a little bit of a line here it's just with my pencil just so that when i'm going to glue it down i know where to put it all right so i'm going to just pull this out a bit this page just to make it flat on my table and then i'm going to hold it here where i don't want the glue um and i think i'm going to take my fabric tack and i'm going to just put a decent amount along the edge here and then on this edge here too and then here okay so we've got a nice spot now so we just need to keep that straight line it up with the little line that you've put there and be mindful of the fold line over there okay i'm going to move that just a little bit over i'm going to just check that i've got it nice and straight and i think i do right and this is a lovely flat one, so that's great. Okay, so I'm quite happy with all of that. And then this is what is going to go into the top here. And it's got this beautiful faux silk ribbon in the top, which I love. It just makes it, all the colours pop, matches perfectly. And then we can put this all back together. How quick was that? All right. So there we go, guys. That's our little project for today. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Oh, I had a little um, butterfly. I forgot the butterfly. Let's stick that on. <laughs> you know, check the, the, the decks to see if anything remains. And there's this little thing. Right, so we're going to... This is a little bit of a... Um, more of a movie one. And I think that's going to just finish it off completely. I love that. Okay, guys. So there it is now. Finally, check the decks. There's nothing else. Um, just want to remind you. I've got a little reminder here. Don't forget the to have and to hold the THTH20 coupon code that's still available until the 13th of Feb. So you've got a few days. Um, that'll entitle you to 20% off if you put that in. Um on your purchases if you buy uh, the journal pages the ephemera pages and the add-on kit all right of course anything else you buy with that as well i uh, will entitle you to 20 percent off the full order if you buy any of my printed kits that would also work with that as well so put in th th20 the details of this are in the description box below this video so you can have a look there all right 
I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you so much for following along with me. I hope that you're having a lot of fun. We're not far off now finishing up with the main pieces here. And then I will do a flip through as I always do, adding in the basic pockets and the other bits and pieces. But I'm going to share the whole thing with you. All right. Um, just a bit on the cover. I'm going to be using a, a, a sky blue and... Um, gingham fabric I think for the cover and it's going to be a soft cover so like we normally make all right so if you need looking for something to use go and have a look for some fabric for your journal cover okay guys take good care of yourselves and I will see you Sunday stay well now bye bye